Oh. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're in the garage. I just wanted to film a little context to this video before it gets started. I already had an introduction to this video filmed, but one of my memory cards got corrupted. So, here we are. In this video, we were working on a friend of mine's bike, a buddy named Anthony. Uh, he had wrecked this bike five or six months ago. Uh, broke his leg uh, and had been sitting ever since. So, <clears throat> the whole intent of this video was to go pick it up, polish it up, clean it, and bring it back to him in like two days. But when we picked it up, uh, it wouldn't steer. I figured it had a flat tire, but ended up being steer head bearings um, and also needed a carb kit and a couple other small things. Like I think need some wiring done. Uh, here in this video, we're gonna do all that. I did film me test riding it that night. I did have some footage of rebuilding the carb and putting it on, but I, that's part of the footage I lost as well. So I lost two of the best clips in this video, so you just have to imagine they're in there. Enjoy the video guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Alright ladies and gentlemen, here she is. Uh, I want to say 2000s maybe, uh, Yamaha Roadstar, I want to say she's a 1300 or 1700 she's a pretty beast it's a nice bike sounds good she was totally dead but she is also totally dirty she got newer tires on it so i ain't gotta worry about having flat tires which i do have to air the front tire up uh it is dead or it is slack i'm gonna say and i'm not gonna ride that thing all the way home on slack tire so we're gonna clean it up we're gonna go air it up it is Papa's house over there somewhere. Oh, 
those brakes or something, dude. It's super hard to turn that. Feels like the damn tire's flat, but it's, it's got air in it. Yeah. Let me get the house. One eternity later. This is gonna be interesting. Why do I have to hit you right near the eyeball or in the eyeball? I got synthesizers if you want them. Here. in the world that I want to use second right there. Seems to be chipping up. Yeah, I might have to do a cut right here. Pop it out and leave it. I think I might do that. Placing the bearings in there, I had to get the races out, which I just just did. And the bottom one goes in here. I already got the new bearings and everything. Uh, we're waiting. The carburetor, as far as the gas coming out of the tailpipe, was the carburetor needs to be rebuilt, which I'm doing that right now. Wait, well, actually, I'm waiting on a carburetor rebuild kit from Yamaha. So, for today's part of the video, we are going to do the races and the bearings and maybe try and slide that back up in there so we'll see all right as you can see i got the carb already off uh, and the bowl is full of nasty yuckiness that is what e85 ethanol gives you is that kind of crap like i said i'm waiting on the rebuild kit from yamaha for this uh and we're waiting on new air filter so yeah we're going to we got the new bearings and races and seals. We're gonna throw them in real quick. This is the, we probably already showed you, but I'll show you again. This is the, what's left of the bottom bearing. We had to cut it off and the race for the inside of the bearing. We had to cut it off as well. It was super seized. So that was, those parts have been needing to be replaced for some time. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we get our grease. We're gonna put the races in first. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease around the outside edge of it so it slides in the hole nice and easy. We're gonna tap this in with a hammer and a piece of wood. I'm gonna go over to the bike and I'll show you more here in a second. Just you don't need a whole lot, just enough to lube up the outside of that so it doesn't so it slides in nice and easy. Just a nice little coating. All right, so we're gonna take this one, set it on just like that, right there. I'm gonna get a piece of wood and a hammer real quick. Just like that. Huh? And if you also, if you have a, you have a brass punch, you can do that too. There's that first race installed. I'm not going to film this, the bottom one because I can't find my tripod mount for this thing so it's 
kind of hard to film. So, uh, we'll come back when I, I'll show you when I get it done. All right, we'll come back. And there's the bottom, bottom race. And I did degrease all that before I put them in. You really need a brass punch when you put these things in because you can't use a metal chisel or a metal punch because it'll damage those. What you really need is a, a brass chisel, but this is the only thing brass I had. I just used it to tap, to tap it in, which it worked perfectly, so this is what I used. That's the only thing brass I had, so. All right, so I think we'll I think we'll slip that back on. Show you what I was doing there. I put the ball, the bottom bearing in, and the top one, and then added the little seal up top here, and the two nuts, and this little locker and ring that goes on there. And so now we can actually put the top triple tree back on, tighten it down, um, set the handlebars back on there, get them up out of the way. So yes. Slowly coming back together. I don't know how much I'll do more tonight, but uh, I'll come back and show you in a few minutes. Welcome back to night two. Uh, we got the air filter in, not the carb kit. Sorry about my workbench is a mess, but we got the air filter and got a can of carb planer. We're gonna soak the carb and I'm gonna work on the wiring to clean all this mess up. I got chocolate in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> what do you got in there? Chocolate. Chocolate? Mm-hmm. Alright, well I'm gonna work on cleaning this rat nest of crap up from the aftermarket radio. And uh yeah. yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna film everything. So I'm gonna listen to the radio and I'll come back and post regular updates. It's been like two and a half hours. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me show you what we got done so far. Well we'll start at the bench. We got well first of all I cleaned the bench up. That looks really good. Uh, we got the new air filter in. I showed you that. It's all ready to go. I still have to clean this air box out. It has a little bit of gas and just dirt in there. So we got to clean that out. Got the carb all clean, put back together. I'm waiting on the new needle and seat and the new little bottom uh, O-ring for the bowl. That'll be hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed. All this stuff is bolts and stuff for this and this. He wanted to take the windshield brackets off, so I took them off and made the bike look a lot cleaner. So we'll uh, go over here and show you what we did over here. The windshield brackets were here. I'm gonna put the bolts back in, and tighten them down where they don't go anywhere, so you don't lose them, you know? And as far as the radio, all that mess that you saw, it is inside this loom here. It's just coming from one speaker, going across to the other. And then I made this little dashboard here. This is the on off. And then the volume, you can easily get to that while you're riding along. Turn the volume up or down. And then on and off, which that looks so much cleaner than being zip tied to this and just a big ball of, like I said, that looks a whole lot neater. I got a couple wires I got a zip tie up. Uh, all these go to the gas tank. This does too. So yeah, and I gotta remember to get a fuel filter. This one here has seen better days and might as well change it while we're here. So I'm gonna get a new fuel filter and the only thing I have to do is hook up 
these two wires to the battery. That is for the radio. So yeah, this thing is coming back together, guys. And then when I get it back together, we need to polish it up, finish cleaning it. You see all the dirt and grime and stuff on the front fender down there, so get it where we can roll it outside and wash it and bring it back in. So, so yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow night. Hopefully I'm gonna get this thing running. All right, guys, welcome back to the garage. Uh, we finally have the little rebuild kit for the carburetor in. Finally, it took a week and a half. But we're gonna finally get the old girl back together. And uh, yeah, let me get some of the carburetor together and then we'll come back and show you on the bike. All right, boys and girls, we're going on a voyage. We're gonna take it out for a test spin. I think everything is checked over and it's good. We're gonna take it around the, around the block real quick. Let's you know how it goes. One eternity later. guys and that was the video uh sorry about the last part there i kind of skipped over installing the carburetor that footage got corrupted i have a, had a bad memory card but i did get it on got a test road and it's actually about two weeks later the bike is not even here anymore i uh, just got the harley uh he's put probably two or three hundred miles on this bike so far and it's doing perfect there'll be a short little clip here at the end of it idling and if you guys enjoyed the video Go down there and hit like and subscribe for us. Uh, turn the bell on, you'll get notified when we post new videos. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.